lying, falsehood has been labeled as Ummul Khabais by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning the mother of all sins, meaning the root cause of all evil deeds. And it surely and definitely is. Anybody who can tell a lie has that reassurance that after doing an evil deed or after doing something wrong, he will be able to tell a lie and will be able to get away with it. So telling lies is a back door. Telling lies is an escape door for all the evil doers and all the sinners. There was a person who came to Prophet Sallallahu and he said that I am in the habit of doing four evil deeds. He said that I am a habitual liar. I steal. I drink and I commit adultery. Now I want to improve myself and I want to eradicate all these evil things from my personality and I want to stop sinning but I want to leave them one at a time. Now advise me. I can't just like reform myself one fine day. I can't leave everything. So I want to go one at a time. So tell me, advise me Prophet Salaam, which one should I leave first of all? You know what? Had it been any one of us who'd been asked this, we would have either said that just leave up your drinking or just leave up your committing adultery. It is immoral. But then Prophet ﷺ said that you should stop telling lies. Stop telling lies. And you know what actually happened was he was going to steal something and he immediately thought, that previously I used to tell a lie and I used to get away with it. Now, now if I am caught and if I'm proved, I won't be able to tell a lie. And then my hands might be just cut off. And then similar thing happened when he was going to drink and similar thoughts came in his mind when he was going to uh, commit adultery. And then after a few days, he came over to Prophet ﷺ and he said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, you have given me such a golden tip. You have given me such a beautiful advice that leaving telling lies, stopping telling lies has got me rid of all those evil things. So this is how bad it is and how all form of lying will open up the doors for such huge and such major sins and evil doings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Hajj verse 13, Allah has clearly announced You stay away. You shun, you abstain from the forbidden worship of idols and shun every word that is untrue. So abstinence and shunning has been ordered in Quran regarding drinking and alcohol and intoxicants and then gambling. In Surah Maida verse 90, Allah says, Inna mal khamru wal maisuru wal ansabu wal ansab ritsum min amali shaitwani fajatani buhu la'allakum tuflihun. Abstinence from all these four things has been ordered. And then in this verse of Surah Hajj, verse 13 of Surah Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering abstinence from worshipping of idols and similar word of abstinence for saying or telling lies did we realize we we realize the importance of quitting drinks and gambling and leaving worshiping idols none of us can in the wildest dream ever think of worshiping an idol but how conveniently how easily how thinking it to be how trivial and how minor people very conveniently tell lies and try to get away with things. Prophet ﷺ in a hadith reported in Bukhari, he said, should I not tell you about the three major sins? Three major sins were, as Prophet ﷺ said, Al-Ishraqu Billah, Aqukum Walidain. And then, the narrator says that Prophet ﷺ was reclining and then he, he sat up straight and then he said, Qawla zur, qawla zur, shahadat az-zur. Continuously repeating the whole thing over and over again. 
So the three big sins were polytheism, that is finding partners with Allah, and then disobeying, mistreating, being bad in manners with the parents, and then telling lies, telling lies, and witnessing a false witness. So this has been labeled as a major sin, as for the words of Prophet and Prophet ﷺ said, no one will be a Muslim, that is his faith, his belief will not be complete until he abandoned telling lies even while he is mocking. So it is so very important to stop telling lies and to be honest and to be, to be truthful in one's dealing, in one's behavior and mannerism. Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood reports in Bukhari and Muslim the Prophet said, Observe truthfulness as a duty and always speak the truth. For truthfulness puts you on the path of virtue and virtue leads you to heaven. And when a person tells a truth as a rule and makes truthfulness a way of his life, he will attain the place of the sincerity and faithfulness and with Allah, then his name will be written as those who are truthful and stay strictly away from falsehood for falsehood puts you on the path of immorality and this leads you to hell. And when a man keeps on lying, the sequel is that his name gets written in the list of the liars. Allahumma la taj'alna minhum. O Allah, may we be not one of them. Hazrat Abdul Rahman bin Abi Qurad who reports that Prophet said, Whoever sincerely wishes, whoever sincerely wishes to love Allah and His Messenger, or he, he wishes what? That Allah and His Messenger loved Him, should always speak the truth when He speaks and restore honesty when He is received in trust to whom it is due and be good and courteous to the neighbors. So being truthful and being honest in dealings is what will, what will raise the ranks to the beloved people of Allah. Hazrat Ubada bin Samit who said in Muslim Ahmad, he reports in Muslim Ahmad that the Prophet said, you promise six things to me. You promise six things to me and I shall give you the guarantee of Jannah. These six things are what? Top of the line. Just imagine. Top of the line. Speak the truth when you speak. Fulfill a promise when you make one. Render back honestly when a trust is placed in your charge. Protect your private past from the forbidden acts. Shut your eyes to things to look at which is prohibited. Hold back your hands on occasions which you are commanded to hold back. Do not hurt or harm anyone unjustly or stretch the hand to seize a thing unlawfully. So this is the self-control for which Prophet ﷺ has been giving the guarantee of paradise. And guarantee of paradise beyond that, Hazrat Abu Sayyid Qudri who reports in the Rimzi that Prophet ﷺ said that the honest trader will be with the prophets, the truthful and the martyrs in Jannah. This is stopping telling lies and being truthful in one's all forms of dealings of the life. Hazrat Abu Umama who reports in Musnad Ahmad that Prophet ﷺ said there is a place of any habit in the nature of the believer except falsehood and breach of faith. So a believer, once a person becomes a believer and has faith, then he can have any anything in his habit other than being, other than falsehood. And a person who says the kalima, who embraces Islam, who enters in Islam and becomes a believer and then that person has four habits. A hadith which is narrated in Bukhari and Muslim that Prophet Sallallahu said, Ayatul Munafiq Ruba'a. Four are the points or four are the characteristics of a hypocrite. If he has all the four, he is a full hypocrite. Until Nandasi leaves all the all these habits. The four habits are the four traits are 
Hadith says, إِذَا حَدَثَ قَذَبَ When he talks, when he talks, he, tell a lie, he tells a lie. إِذَا حَدَثَ قَذَبَ إِذَا أَحَدَ غَذَرَ إِذَا خَانَ إِذَا إِذَا أَعْتُمَنَ خَانَ When he is given trust, he is dishonest. And when he make, makes a promise, he breaks it. إِذَا خَاسَمَ فَجَرَ When he fights, when there is some issue of disagreement, then he fights, he just erupts, he misbehaves, he abuses. And Prophet ﷺ in the words of a hadith in Muslim added, despite the fact that he is offering salah, despite the fact that he is paying zakat, and despite the fact that he is performing hajj. So despite all these worships, if the person entering Islam has these four traits in his personality, then he has the temperament and he is a hypocrite according to the words of the Prophet Allahumma tuhkhir qalbi min al-nifaki wa amali min al-riyai wa lisani min al-qazabi wa aini min al-khayanati inna ka ta'lumu man khayanati al-aini wa ma tuhfi al-sudur Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه reports in Tarimzi how how disliked lying is that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when a bondsman tells a lie, the angel goes a mile away from him because of the awful, filthy smell or the stench. Hazrat Sufyan bin Usaid Hadarmi radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Abu Dawud, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the most serious form of betrayal of faith is that you tell a lie to a brother while he believes that you are truthful in what you say. So just cheating a person by telling a, a lie and making the person say that you are being truthful is the worst form of betrayal of faith. Hazrat Abu Zar radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Muslim that Prophet said that there will be three people on whom Allah will neither speak on the day of resurrection nor cast a graceful look or nor will be they be purified of their sins. These peoples are at loss and they will be hopeless. Who are they? Prophet ﷺ told that these out of one of these was the person who did what? That while he was making business transactions, he used to make a false promise. He used to swear falsely to sell his things of a business transactions. He used to make false swearing. Similarly, Prophet Sallallahu has said there are words of uh, hadith reported in Muslim Ahmad Rimzi and Abu Dawood that the husband Hakim Raziallahu ta'ala who reports that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said fire upon him who tells lie to make people laugh, who just tells lie to create a situation or to create a conversation and just lies to make people laugh. And Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Muslim, it is enough falsehood in a man to go about circulating what he hears from others. So this is how disliked saying lies is. And there was a mother, there's an incident that Hazrat Abdullah bin Amir radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Abu Dawud that Prophet saw a woman and uh, she came, uh, Hazrat, uh, the, the companion says that uh, there was a lady with two daughters and uh, she came and she asked the daughters that, come quickly, I'll give you something. And then uh, she uh, she had a date and then she gave it to the children also. And Prophet said, remember that if you had not given anything to the child after promising to do so, a lie would have been written down in your deeds. So promising to give something or promising to do something or promising to go somewhere and or swearing by the name of Allah and then not fulfilling it is also a form of lie. So liars are not only the people who tell lies when they're speaking, when they're talking, when they're mocking, when they're making fun or when they're making uh, any business deal or transaction. It is not just lying around. Number one, liar is a person who tells lie. But liar is also a person who who likes people who lie and who supports all forms of dishonesty and falsehood 
and helps all forms of falsehood and then he goes against all forms of honesty and all forms of truthfulness and he dislikes people who are trustworthy and truthful and he goes against them and similarly a person who is truthful is a person who likes all forms of truth and honesty and he supports all form of fair dealings and all forms of truthful people and then he opposes and he stands against all forms of falsehood all forms of unfair dealings and all forms of dishonest my um, uh, manners so this is in detail what a liar is and what an honest and a truthful person sin is allahumma ja'alna minhum allah make us one of your truthful and honest and reliable people